But let's go now to the South Australian Premier, Peter Malinowskis. He stood up against anti-Semitism at the Adelaide Writers Festival. He didn't challenge free speech. The Premier just said last week that because the festival was giving a platform to two people who spread hatred against Israel and the Jewish people, one demonising Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky as well, well, the Premier said then he'd steer clear. He'd boycott this prestigious event. Good on him. It cost the event a major sponsor too, by the way. But there's another point about these events, these writers' festivals and the like, that needs some attention. Whether they're in Adelaide, Melbourne, Canberra, Brisbane, Sydney, wherever, they're almost always leftist stacks. They have some great writers, sure, wonderful. But what they don't do is diversity. They rely on large licks of taxpayers' money, but what they put up doesn't reflect the broad range of taxpayers' opinions and views. Their idea of diversity is green left, hard left, radical left, soft left, revolutionary left. The only exception is the occasional Chardonnay socialist. It's like that in Adelaide again this year. And cop this. There are just so many current and former ABC types that go along to this. Let's just scroll through the list of them now. These are the current and former ABC personalities that are appearing at the Adelaide Writers' Festival. Now, remember, this stuff is paid for largely by taxpayers, so these ABC types are paid by you to do their day jobs, or, or have been, usually pumping out ideologically green-left material. Then, for a bit of a change, they get flown to writers' festivals and put up in flash pubs, and then they swan around with the other leftists on more of your taxpayers' dollars, cashing in on the ABC brand that you pay for. It's also lovely for them, isn't it? But it must be bloody boring as they all get together and agree on everything. You know, border security is a travesty. Coal and gas are killing the planet. Other people should pay more tax. Everyone has to cut their emissions, except people flying to writers' festivals, of course. Mainstream, conservative or right-of-centre views just don't feature. No contrarians, just more people using your tax dollars against your interests under false pretenses.